If copywriting is something that you really struggle with and put off and hate doing and you find yourself reading your copy and it feels jumbled, uh, directionless and all of that stuff, um, then you might not know that there are actual formulas out there that can help you get more structure um, and more impact with your copywriting. Um, so today I'm going to chat to you about three of those formulas that may really help to improve your own writing. Hi, I'm Colette Broomhead. I'm a business coach and I help people who want to quit their 9 to 5 for good and create a business doing what they love. And this is Business Class Monday. So let's dive straight in with a number one of our copywriting formulas. Uh, and that is PAS, or P-A-S. And that stands for Problem, Agitate, Solve. Um, and so here, as the, uh, as the wording suggests, you start off by describing a common problem um, that your ideal readers, your ideal clients experience. You then go on to agitate that problem. Um, so basically, um, almost kind of describing it, making people feel it, maybe making people think about all the impacts of what that problem is. And then of course, once they're kind of suffering that, uh, you tell them how they can solve that problem. So an example of that might be, do you struggle with copywriting? Problem. You sit in front of the laptop and the words just don't come. You read back your content and it feels clunky and corny and cheesy. Agitate. While well, these copywriting formulas will help you to write more easily, more quickly and with more structure. Solve. P-A-S. So let's look at number two. Number two is BAB. <laughs> I love these. B-A-B. And that stands for before after and bridge. So in this instance, you start off by talking again about the problem that needs solving, what the situation is. Then you talk about after, and that's your kind of imagine if type um, content. Um, if this, you know, imagine if this problem no longer existed um, and what it would be like. Um, and then the bridge is where you tell them how they can get to that point. So essentially you're telling them how they can solve their problem. So let's look at an example for that one. So I might say something like, you're sitting at your laptop, the words just won't come, you have this really big message that you want to get across but you just can't find the right way to communicate it. Before. Imagine being able to sit at your laptop and be able to get your message across clearly and succinctly in a way that your customers understand and react to. After, bridge. By using these copywriting formulas, you can achieve just that. B-A-B. -B. The last of the formulas that I want to talk about is probably one that you've already heard of, and that's the five W's. Um, now, this is a formula that's often associated with kind of more journalistic content. Um, so those five W's are who, what, when, where, why. And also quite often um, at the end, you pop a how in there as well. And essentially, these are all questions um, which allow you to build a story. So if you're writing something that is more story based, and perhaps your brand story, or perhaps you're just retelling something um, that's happened, or you're creating a story to help your customers imagine a certain situation, whatever it may be, um, then those five W's are a really great way to structure that story so that you're including all the key information. So those are the five W's. Um, I really hope this has helped you um, and helped kind of get a few sparks of inspiration flowing. Um, there are literally tons and tons of writing formulas out there. Um, I picked these three because I think they're um, kind of powerful, they're commonly used um, and I think they'll be really helpful. But do go Google copywriting formulas and you will find 
tons um, that sort of some are specific to sales copy, some are specific to emails, headlines. There are formulas for everything out there, so go check it out. Lastly, I just wanted to tell you um, about my new quiz that I've created. If you're in my Facebook group business class, you will have already seen it, um, but I'm very excited about it. Um, it's super fun, it's only six questions, um, and it's a really cool way for you to discover how close you are to quitting your nine to five. So I use these six questions to kind of establish roughly where you are on your entre entrepreneurial journey. And then once you've answered them, I'll tell you at what stage you're at. And I'll also tell you the things that you need to be prioritizing in your business for that stage. So it's kind of tailored to you, really personal to the, to the situation that you're in right now. There's also an opportunity once you've completed the quiz to sign up for a free um, email mini course, again, relating specifically to that stage that you're at now. So if you're interested, um, I will leave a link. Um, I always point in the wrong direction, but it's gonna be one of these corners. Um, and I'll also put a link uh, in the description below. And lastly, there'll also be a link um, in the blog post that is um, associated with this video, which will be on my website, www.colettebroomhead.com. And with that, I wish you a very happy week and I shall see you next week.